Hi everyone. Today I just wanted to show you a quick little idea that you may find useful here in the spring. I don't know what activities you have or projects you have going on, but maybe I'm thinking if you do something for Easter, I, I don't send a gift home for Easter, but maybe you do, or, or Mother's Day. That's what I was actually thinking of. Um, I, I do succulents in a pot for Mother's Day. I've mentioned that before, but if you're looking for something lovely for Mother's Day, this might be it. I used this today for the first time, or this year for the first time with our Grandparents' Day. This is the little treat that I sent home with each grandparent. But have you ever done these little puzzles? Uh, they come like this. I got a whole pack of 24 for $11 on Amazon. And I know Wonderful Stanley will make the link for that for you. But I chose, the, this is the first time I've done it, I chose the nine piece puzzle, but they have puzzles this same size with um, increased number of pieces. And the students had so much fun making them. I'm sad to say I only was able to grab one photo, but I'm thankful I got Jet's photo. He brought it up to show me he was so proud. And um, I did have them on the back of every single piece, write their initials on the back. And at first they said, why do we need to do that? And I just didn't even answer. I just stared back and I said, why do you think? <laughs> and they said, oh. Um, and what we used for the... Um, the art is, um, I bought a set of Sharpies, well they're fake Sharpies, and, and he'll provide that link for you too. And one package of those was enough for my whole class. I just had them go to my guided reading table and, and work on it in, in groups of about eight at a time, and we finished it in just about an hour and a half, the whole class. And then I had them put the pieces in a little baggie, and um, they were safe for uh, grandparents day I had I sent my parents um, on a scavenger hunt this year with my students with with their student and I'd never done that it was so much fun I had chosen five different locations out and about and um, given them hints you know of how to get to that location um, the one that I really didn't know if they would get was I wrote let's see I wrote the blank are gently swaying do you know that song? The trees are gently swaying. And I stuck a, a clue up in a tree. <laughs> that was really fun. But at each um, point in their in their treasure hunt, they had to, um, to solve a question. And I was very deliberate about the questions that I, I put. Mm -hmm. um, oh, do you want to know them? Would it help you? I don't know. I don't know if you'll ever do it. I'm not going to bother right now. But um, if you're interested in knowing what those questions were, I'd be happy. I'd happy, happily share them with you. Just let me know. But um, when they came back with the, from their, their scavenger hunt or treasure hunt, the students had hidden the puzzle somewhere in the classroom. And then they played hot and cold with their grandparent until they found the puzzle. Then they went to their desks and solved it. And it was was a really sweet little activity. So I just wanted to pass that on. If you can somehow use these puzzles, um, it is here. I, I hope this is helpful because um, I know I'm always trying to find things that are, that are nice and quality but don't cost so very much. So I hope you're having a good day and I hope you're having a great week and I'll see you next time.